5.35 and all I have eaten today is breakfast. So, it's probably about time for dinner. The thing is, I am not much of a cook and I feel the need to defend myself um, regarding that fact, but, you know, I'm just gonna accept that that's my truth. I can't, I'm not, I think we, we might even all know that by now because I never know what to eat. And I think if you're a good cook, you probably don't have that issue. So I'm gonna see what I can whip up. Right now, I don't have my overhead cabinets, so I'm even more limited on space. So some of my food is in boxes. What are we working with? Potatoes. I bought potatoes. <laughs> I have quinoa macaroni. Ooh. Not much. Leftover pizza. Oh. Cauliflower. My favorite LaCroix. Okay. Uh. Uh. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Is that a meal? Is that something you would eat? There's not a lot going on in here. Mm, I do have my kimchi seasoning though. Uh. Yeah, that's not a very promising drawer. Huh. Temperature, I don't know, 375. I also don't understand cast irons all that much. Is that a fucking bug? Yeah, that was a bug. So what do I do about that? I don't wash it. There's just a bug in it, like cooked into it. What now, you cast iron snobs? I guess I'll just dab it out. It's a bug wing. I'm gonna try my best to pretend I never saw that and it never happened and move on. Okay. Set a timer for 40 minutes. 40 minutes, counting down. So I've definitely caught some sort of virus and I know that I've been exposed to one or two people who have COVID. I don't know how the rest of the world is doing, but I know that in my area, a lot of people have been coming down with COVID in the last few weeks. So I have a suspicion that I might have COVID Thankfully, I got a few tests in the mail for free from the government really randomly, like last week. So let's see how I test. It came with four tests. And I'm thinking that if I test negative today, I will test again in a couple days just to be sure. Because they say you can um, trust a positive, but that a negative 
could be inaccurate. You could have COVID and test negative. And you're supposed to wait 48 hours to test again. Positive is two lines, negative is one. I'm familiar with that. Oh God, that's... One, two, three, four. Ooh, a fifth one almost fell on it. 15 minutes. So here's my thoughts on the possible results of this test. First of all, if I have COVID, a silver lining, <laughs> is that I have the opportunity to document what it's like to have COVID and live in a vehicle. That's something I've experienced before, um, thrice actually, but I never did film it. Serious miss opportunity on my end, regrets. But if I'm positive for COVID, I get to... <laughs> that could have been... A really fun thing to share. If it's negative, then I still get to hang out with my friends. <laughs> How long are you supposed to quarantine if you have COVID? Wait a second. People with COVID-19 should isolate for five days and if they are asymptomatic or their symptoms are resolving without fever for 24 hours, follow that by five days of wearing a mask when around others to minimize the risk of infecting people they encounter. Okay, so five days isolation, five days mask. Remember when all this stuff started? Remember lockdown? What a different time. And to be totally honest, I kind of miss it because I felt like it was really unifying because we were all going through something together. Kind of like when you're standing in the corridor of a supermarket with a bunch of other people just watching it pour down rain and deciding whether you want to run to your vehicle or send one person to get it or what. And you're kind of all in it together. You laugh and joke and talk about how bad it is with the people standing next to you. It was nice to have something in common with everyone. Random note, but I just finished watching season 33 of Survivor. I picked that season because I kind of know somebody on, on that season. And wow, what a good show. You know, I haven't seen it since I was like a teenager and you can really get attached to people. I don't remember that aspect of it, but I was, I cried so much <laughs> and I, I've had dreams about the freaking show. Are we almost there yet? I'm getting antsy. No. <laughs> It's been seven minutes. It's time. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little nervous. Uh oh. Just kidding, it's negative. Honestly, I'm a little bit surprised. All right, that's that. Let's clean up my COVID mess. Ooh. All right, so it's been 30 minutes. Things are not going well. I definitely should have done something. I don't want to show you. I don't want to show you. Listen, we all fuck up from time to time, okay? I've only cooked so many potatoes in my life. Shoot. 
Dang it. Now I don't have COVID and I might not have potatoes. I'm freaking hungry. I've been watching this show on Netflix about alien sightings. It's got me in a particular kind of mood. A mood that I like. It's kind of nice to remember that there is a world outside of our own. Because I think we get so caught up not only in our own world, literally, Earth, but also in our own individual worlds. And it's nice to remember that, that that's so insignificant. The first episode of this show that I'm watching focuses on a small town in Texas. And I'm just like, mmm, say less. I'll go. Stay tuned. Um, I'll probably be in Texas next month, November. And, uh, if I'm feeling up to it, I might see if I can find myself an alien encounter. Okay, in other news, I just threw some items together for a potential Halloween costume. I have not tried it on or anything. I thrifted this, um, completely irrelevant to Halloween, like a month ago. This crazy short skirt. And I already owned this witch hat. I also own a little cape. And it's not even for a costume. I just had a phase. I'll have to dig the cape out of storage, but let's see what this is like. Ooh -hoo -hoo. <laughs> About 50 different shades of black, but like, whatever. It works. With a cape? Well, the cape goes to like, I don't know, it might be a similar length of the skirt. I mean, I'm pretty much just wearing a hot black outfit with a witch hat on, you know. So maybe I'll go to a costume store and get like an orb or a wand or a staff. Staff, I'm feeling the fucking staff. All right, let me get in my night clothes. I'm gonna do a little bit of work here from bed before bed. Today that work includes finishing up two TikTok videos that I've made. In case you're curious of what work is like for a content creator. I think a lot of people think that it's like you just film a video and hit upload and it's like not a real job because it's so easy. But the reality is there's way, <laughs> there's so much to it. And the editing process can be, depending on your video style, anyway. Most people have to go through an editing process and for most people that's not simple. And it's not simple for me. I'm already most of the way through editing the two of these. Just gonna put some final touches on. And then it's time to read my book. 
and then I'll go to sleep. A couple weeks ago I finished, um, what was it called? They both die at the end. I liked it. Now I've been more slowly reading The School for Good Mothers. I also like this. I'm in a reading phase and I'm really enjoying it. Something I've almost never been in. Anyway, see you later. I ended up getting my two verticals, as we call them in the industry, done in 45 minutes. So that's nice. Not that that's everything I need to do, but the other things I need to do require sunlight and other stuff. <laughs> so moving on to some good reading, and I tend to pass out while I'm reading. It's kind of my favorite thing to do. You know, that way I don't have to just lay here with my thoughts. So anyway, now is a good time to call it a night because I might not get another chance because I might be unconscious soon. Anywho, see you in the next one. I think its wing is still in there. Yeah. Is this what people do? Well, that's fun. Do people do this? Oh, well, should I go? You know, beats me. Beats the hell out of me. Shukran. Oh, there's a little doggy. Remember when they used to have to shove it way back there? I want an Xbox. Wait, I hope this is like not... Are my lights flashing? Because I will freaking murder somebody. I'm starving. I'm hoping that when my lights are fully on, it doesn't cause the flashing. What am I gonna do? If it does, I'm screwed right now and I gotta make a different video. Anyway, what am I gonna do? I really wanna eat potatoes. I don't even know if I can make it the remaining five minutes. I'm so hungry. Until my body can't take it no more. <laughs>